Right guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace your cables, that's the shift and the brake cable, in the uh, Shimano R7000-105 shifter. So we'll go ahead and I'll run through the steps. Right, so here we have the uh, 105 R7000-11 speed shifter here. This just happens to be the right hand side for the rear, but the same thing applies to both sides. So what you want to do to start with is pull the hood back, the rubber hood, and that's easier to do if it's mounted on a bar. Now on the inside, this is the inside of the lever, you've got a plastic cover there, if you can get the hood, you've got to push the hood back enough to see the clear plastic cover, which is there. So you can go ahead and just pop that cover open, like so, and just leave it there for a minute. Then you go ahead, turn it round to the outside and push the hood back and there's a slot there, you can see, elongated slot. Now what you want to do is find the end of your cable, shift cable, make sure that your shifter is sh shifted down to the smallest cog at the back, your 11 tooth at the back, otherwise the cable won't pass through the shifter body if it's not. So the top slot there. You want to put the cable through the top slot. And what you've got to do is obviously keep the hood out of the way. You want to push it through the body so as it goes through and out the other side. So you might have to push the hood out of the way this side as well to get the cable to pass through. You can see up here there. So once it starts to go through, just keep on going. So pull it all the way through until you get to the stop on the end like so and when you see the stop on the end there what you've got to do is push the slot stop down into the bottom slot push it into the slot there then just pull on the cable the other side and it disappear up inside slightly like that make sure it has gone up inside otherwise if it hasn't then you may get bad shifting because of that. So then what you want to do is on the inside of the uh, lever what you can do is go ahead and find the end of your cable again and then you get yourself the cable end like so with the raised slot on it, the bump there as you can see. You thread that on the end of your cable and then thread it all the way round your cable. Now what that does is the slot that you see, the raised piece, what that does is just slots in the groove there like so and then your outer cable will come along and go up inside there and then, it go, and then this go round underneath your bar tape on your handlebars. So once you've done that, then you go ahead there and get your plastic cover, a clear plastic cover, and just put that back in place, like so. So that's the actual shift cable installed. So it's the same for the uh, front derailleur as well. So once you've done that, just go ahead and pop your hood back for a minute. You could pop back like so. Now move on to the brake cable. What you want to do is depress the lever slightly like so and you can see there the cable is going to go in that hole there. So see what you want to do is get your end of your cable like so. Keep the lever depressed so as you can get that in and then keep it depressed slightly like so, so it's not pinching the cable there and just push it through and it comes out the back so you can keep pulling it through until you see a stop on the end and then make sure the stop goes in there like so and then you can let go of the lever and that's the brake cable installed there's no end on the brake cable the outer cable itself just comes around and the outer cable goes straight up in that slot in the hole there 
so there's no end to put on like the shift cable, brake cable goes straight in there and that's your two cables installed right so there's the uh, steps complete for you so you should be able to install your uh, cables yourself so if you found the video helpful in any way give it a thumbs up remember to subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content Till the next video ride safe and I'll see you then